You win the first major of the season and then come out and are now tied for the lead at the second one. What is going on with your game so far this year that's been able to let you play such great golf? You know, it's it's just the majors. You know, they set up perfectly for my game. I like it when a tournament, you know, six, seven, eight under par wins. Um, you know, last week when 20 some under par wins, just mentally, I don't feel like I can do that, I guess. So, um, you know, the longer the golf course obviously fits my game a lot better. You know, the rough is thick, the greens are fast this week. So I think it's just a combination of, um, of everything that this course is kind of offering right now. Is this a golf course, first time you've probably seen it mm -hmm. this week, is it one that really suits your eye? Is there something about it that really you really enjoy? Yeah, there's a lot of holes that go right to left. There's only a couple that are, there's always a couple that when you get to them, you're like, gosh, you know, you really dread. But this one, um, you know, a lot of the holes, like I said, go right to left, which fits my draw. And um, I don't feel like when I'm looking at the fairway, they don't seem super narrow to me. I've been driving the ball so well all year, uh, which really helps. You know, anytime you can get it in the fairway, um, you know, and not have to worry about hitting it out of play. I mean, it just takes a lot of stress off of you. We were talking to Christy earlier just about how well that whole group played. Like, <laughs> what is it like when you go out there and you play with everyone and everybody seems to be playing that well, especially when you're at a major? Yeah, it's um, the front nine, you know, Cord and I were both two over par. And then we said when we made the turn, uh, we both birdied nine and we were going to 10. And we said, you know, let's do a $5 birdie game and see if that doesn't kind of get us motivated to kind of shoot better. And um, she birdied the last, so we tied, unfortunately, or I was going to be up $5. Um, but it was just it was just the small things, you know. We just kind of needed something to kind of motivate us to kind of get back in it. We we weren't out of it by any means, but obviously being a major, you never know if you're going to birdie that many holes coming in. If you're already so many over par, it's hard to get it back. And um, it was just fun, you know. Kerr and, and Cordo, it just it was a great group all around. We just had a really good time out there. Well, you've had a busy week. Not only rang the closing bell at NASDAQ mm -hmm. on Tuesday, but you got to throw out the first pitch at the Mets game, which actually ended up benefiting the San Francisco <laughs> Giants as you witnessed a no-hitter. Whoops. What kind of day was that? I know you're a huge baseball fan, but to see a no-hitter in person. It was pretty incredible. Yeah, that was the first time I'd ever seen it. So we played the Pro-Am that morning, took a quick shower here, went to the NASDAQ, did the closing bell, and then went to the game. So it was Needless to say, I missed my nap and I was very tired. But, um, you know, had a really great day. You know, we come out to a golf tournament, especially a major, and it's golf, golf, golf. And, um, you know, that day did a little bit of golf, but got to do some fun stuff as well. So, um, you know, anytime you get to go to a baseball game, you know, it's like the highlight of my day. I love going to games. Given your length off the tee, mm -hmm. how excited do you get when you see a major championship course with five par fives on it? <laughs> see my eyes light up? Um, you know, I was super excited. You know, the first couple of days, or Monday, I'd only played nine holes, and I was like, wow, was, is there, am I missing something? Was there three on the nine that I had played? Um, and then two of them are, are reachable. Well, well, actually, all three of them were reachable today. Um, so that makes it even more exciting. You know, you just kind of, all you focus on is getting it in, in play, and then you kind of go from there. So... Um, anytime the par fives are reachable, your, your scorecard kind of goes from normally 72 to kind of 68. Uh, and this week it just might even go one lower. But being a major, obviously there's going to be a couple bogeys out there that are going to happen. It's inevitable. Um, so still a couple under par each day would probably be really good. Can you just talk about the setup mm -hmm. and just the way that they're kind of balancing scoring holes with the tough holes? Yeah, I, I played it today and, um, you know, I thought everything was – as perfect as it possibly could be, you know, the pin seemed to be in the, the best places. And, um, you know, when there was a pin that was tucked, obviously those were the holes we were kind of aiming more at the green. We kind of played it as like a, like it, I told my caddy, we played it kind of like Pinehurst at the U S open where, you know, some pins you're going to be able to get at and other pins you're going to have to shoot way away from and just kind of keep it in the big part of the green and then two putt and get your par and move on. Um, and that's kind of how we, we played it all day, you know, take advantage of the par fives. And uh, when you're in trouble, you know, definitely take your medicine and kind of hit it towards the fat part of the green. Definitely stay below the pins because uh, a lot of the greens are front are back to front and they get really fast. So um, definitely keep it below the pin. And we did a really good job of that today. Hi, this is Tiff Joe. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more content on all things LPGA related, check out the new I'm going again. I'm just going to keep going. Yep. For more content on all things LPGA, yeah. check out the new LPGA.com. Yeah. I don't understand. Why is that so difficult? Hi, this is Tip Joe. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For all... <laughs> for more content on all things LPGA, check out the new LPGA.com. <laughs>